that our final speaker this morning comes to you from the Dutch side, led, leading us in our celebration. At this time, I want you to extend a warm welcome to our nation's first female Prime Minister, the Honorable Sarah Westcott-Williams. Platform guests, dignitaries across the field, St. Martin is good morning. Good morning on this beautiful St. Martin day. In fact, the time allotted to us does not permit me or any one of the others to talk about formal cooperation today. And I don't have a problem with that at all. Because I can say with extreme confidence that the two governments currently in charge of this island are committed, are committed to the theme one island, one people, one destiny. What I would like to address you as this morning is one St. Martina to another. One St. Martina to many others and say good morning and happy St. Martin's Day, St. Martin, to all of us. How often have you not, because I fall in the trap sometimes too, and ask, what has this country done for me? But when last did you ask yourself, what has this beautiful island, what have you done for this beautiful island of St. Martin? When was the last time you showed your pride in St. Martin prominently, regardless to what anyone said or thought? When was the last time you showed your colors for the island that has given all of us so much and is still giving us today? Today is a coming together of all who call St. Martin home. Because regardless of what, there is not another place in this world like St. Martin. There is not another hospitality like given by the people of St. Martin. There is not another place of resilience like the people of St. Martin. There is not another place where we accept so much, where we accept so much, and yet every morning we get out. If we don't, we should be saying, thanks to God Almighty for living on St. Martin at this time in the life of our history. That is what we should be saying every day of the year, 24-7. This country is blessed. It is not blessed only because of the government, maybe in the last place because of the government. It is blessed by the people who have put the governments there and the people who hold St. Martin there and love to celebrate a St. Martin's Day. One St. Martin's Day in unity. One St. Martin's Day, one island, one people. Like I always like to say, for me, it really doesn't matter. I show these colors because I am proud of my island. I am proud of who I am. Um, I am proud of being a product of this island because I was born on Friend St. Martin. And if it wasn't many years ago that St. Martin was open to so many, my mother would not have come here to have me be the person I am today. Thank God, thank God for our ancestors and the people who have made St. Martin great. If you want to know what you can do for your country, be proud of who you are. Be proud of our land. Respect St. Martin. Respect the elderly. Respect the young people. And those who have joined us to make St. Martin great, we expect you all to do the same. Love this land. Respect our people. And lift ourselves up. It is, it is in times like these that we are on this island, in this region called St. Martin, one island, one country, one people, and one destiny. God bless you, love you, St. Martin. Show your colors, show that you are proud to be a St. Martin, and together we will carry St. Martin forward. Don't worry about the times, they are hard, but we have faced harder times before, we have faced more difficulties before, and we're standing here today strong as one island, one people, one destiny. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much, very much, Madam Prime Minister, for addressing us this afternoon. 
people of St. Martin. Let's hear it once again for all our presenters. Ladies and gentlemen, your representative from the north and south of St. Martin. At this time, to kick off our celebration, I now call on the Honorable Dr. Rhoda Arundel, the Minister of Culture, to lead us in a toast of the St. Martin's Day 2011 celebration. of our people. Here's to unity. Here's to togetherness. Here's to family. The all-inclusive St. Martin family. Here's to one island, one people, indivisible before God and man, with one destiny. Hip, hip, hooray! Thank you. This, this is good. <laughs> Sit, Martin, are you ready to celebrate? Okay, there's a big time display that's about to take place, and I need each and everybody. Just to push back. Just push back for me. I want y'all to go back. Just go back to this move to the barricades because we're about to have a big presentation and I don't want nobody to get in the way of this because you want to definitely witness this live. Just one, two. Just one, two. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, happy St. Martin's Day to you. And now I'd like to present, of course, in the unity that we are going to be displaying here today. One island, one people, one destiny. Here's the choreography by the Dance Theater of St. Martin. Enjoy. Take 